guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a little bit different of a video. And yes, I chopped my hair. I love it. I have loved doing crafts and just DIY things since I was a little girl. So I wanted to show you guys how I make this shamrock garland out of yarn. So if you'd like to learn how to make this really cute shamrock garland for St. Patrick's Day, then just keep watching. The things you will need to make this shamrock and pom-pom garland are as follows. For the yarn wrapped shamrock, you will need cardboard, a pair of scissors, a pen for tracing out the design, some tape, and a cutout of a shamrock. I found that it worked a lot better when I over exaggerated these areas here and then extended the stem of the shamrock because this is the original picture that I had cut out and this is how it ended up. The stem just became too stubby because of all the yarn wrapped around it and then you lost that definition because of again how much yarn is wrapped around the cardboard. In the end over exaggerating gave me this and I'm much happier with that. And some dark green yarn for the shamrock. To make the pom-poms you will just need the different colors of yarn that you want, a pair of fabric scissors. I find that it's much easier to use fabric scissors to shape the pom-poms. And then to make the pom-poms use a fork. I chose a skinnier fork. This one only has three prongs. I want smaller pom-poms, so the size of fork um, determines how big your pom-poms are. You will need some thread and a big needle. I like using crochet thread. It's just a little thicker. shamrock you'll just need to tape down this piece of yarn on the back and then just start wrapping it's really just kind of a haphazard like wrapping around just to make sure that you have every area covered. Keep wrapping until all of the cardboard is not visible anymore. to me so what I'm going to do is turn it over and then I'm going to cut it off and then loop it through some of these pieces back here. So I am going to be making six of these shamrocks. 
You can make however many you want. It just depends on how long of a garland you're going to do. When testing out the other fork, it was much harder to make pom-poms just because it didn't have a middle area to um, tie down. So I switched over to just a regular four prong uh, small fork. So what you want to do to make the pom-pom is to cut a little piece of yarn and then place it in the middle prong and just keep it down by just holding onto it there. And then you want to start off, just keep your thumb on it until you've wrapped it around enough to keep it there and then you can let go and just wrap around the fork a few times. So now you'll take your scissors and just cut there. And now using that yarn that you'd placed in between, then we'll tie a knot. And tie it as tight as you can and then double knot it. it off of the fork and then put your scissors in between all of these loops and just cut the loops. what you end up with. It's kind of like an oblong um, just puff. <laughs> then just start cutting your pom-pom and shaping it. So you just have to remember that you are going to have that piece there so you don't want to cut it too short because then you'll be able to see the yarn. So now that I've got it like this, it's now become kind of like a cylinder. Just start shaping it this way. So I'm kind of cutting it at an angle. See how it's now starting to round on this side? You just wanna keep doing that on all of your edges. That's what you end up with and then I'll just roll it my palms and then I'll just go through and fix any areas that are still a little too long and there you have a little pom-pom now I'm just going to finish making the rest of the pom-poms going to make five of each color. To put the garland together, just going to thread your needle. I like to just have it be one strand. I don't like to have it um, like doubled up. So I'll actually just tie a knot right here at the end of the needle. I'm going to start with a shamrock and then do the three pom-poms and then shamrock and then end up with a shamrock on the end as well. When threading your needle through the shape, you want to be sure of where you're threading it because if you thread it through here, it's actually going to just like hang 
and not um, sit up like this on your string. So you really want to make sure that you thread it up here rather than in the middle. See, this is how it will be sitting on the garland. Remember, because of the way that I'm threading, this will be my last shamrock. When threading your pom-poms, you want to make sure that you're threading it through this string here so that it has somewhere to grip. There you have it, a really cute St. Patrick's Day shamrock and pom-pom garland made out of yarn. So that is how you make this really cute garland out of yarn. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and maybe try it yourself. If you do, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it. If you liked this video and you'd like to see more DIY videos from me, give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like it. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.